write what you know, they said. Keep a sketchbook of the textures of the familiar. Make collections of the places you've been to. Architecture, your themes can slip into with a soft touch of satin on skin, the snug fit of memory foam slippers. They said, dress your ideas in that extra large cardigan you took from your grandfather's wardrobe after he died. Oversized like the world through a child's eyes, with pockets so deep you can fill them with conkers and fir cones and hazelnuts. Perfume your words, with a base note of turf, enriched with herbs from a cottage kitchen. Slice verbs with onions that make your eyes sting and add that emotional spice mix that twists your intestines into sausage strings that grips your guts like cable ties. Embrace the mundane, they said, the everyday grime, dust behind ornaments, washing up piles, characters that gossip and drink tea inside your mind. They said, write what you've seen with your own eyes. So I took their advice. I decided to write about violence. They said, break your silence, run life through your fingers like blades of grass, fibre, glass splinters and paper cuts. Dig out that piggy bank of imagery you've saved since childhood. Drag out those memories that waded into a quicksand and got stuck beneath the tranquil surface. Paint the anguish on their faces with spray, guns and palette knives. The pain you've seen with your own eyes. I've seen more battered wives than I've seen dragonflies. I've seen more brains blown out than birthday candles. They said, describe the creative camera angles, impressive stunts and special effects, fake blood, prosthetic makeup, dramatic background sounds you don't even hear because you're holding your breath and your spine is a tightened violin string waiting to snap. I've witnessed death more times than I've seen my breath. More times than I've seen birth, than I've seen the earth part to reveal a tiny green shoot, than I've seen a leaf uncoil. I've seen so many petals plucked that I forget that every violent death I've ever seen was televised. I haven't witnessed murder in real life. In real life. I study the furniture in the pub when talk turns to movies or retreat to the toilet. I've never seen the films they discussed. I haven't even seen E.T. I've lived without TV for 25 years. Still, I'm haunted by flickering pictures of the fictional dead projected on screens inside my head. I can't adjust the volume of their screens, desaturate the hue streaming from their veins. I would rather watch a washing machine than watch an actual scene. I'm not as numb as other people seem to be. But still, when I hear of children killed by snipers in Palestine, American bombs wiping out Syrian towns, genocide of refugees in real life, now I'm so desensitised to violence that although these things are shocking, they're not nearly as shocking as they should be.